Hey guys, Chris here with the good old gamer. So today, TSMC is informing us that they can sandwich together GPU or CPU or pretty much any sort of die out there and cram them on top of each other, essentially giving us double the die space in a smaller package. Let's take a look and see exactly what this could possibly mean for the future of CPUs and GPUs. Now, some of you out there actually messaged me about this topic while I was at work today. So I came home, found this article on Tech Power Up, and decided to go ahead and check this out. So basically what TSMC is saying is on their 7 nanometer plus, so we're talking probably 2020 or 2021 at the earliest, and their 5 nanometer nodes, they're going for 3D stack silicone fabrications. Basically what they're doing, we're going to use this little diagram here, is there's actually going to be little holes in here uh, where they're connecting the two die. So just for argument's sake, let's just say this was a GTX 1060. They could stack another one right on top of it. Now, this is really great because they can go ahead and shrink up packages without having to worry about these really, really large die. For example, something like the Titan V, which is 815 millimeters squared, I believe, and that thing's huge. Now, something like that would be able to cut its size in half in the future, and that's very beneficial. Now, the article does flat out say that GPU die are far more complex than something like 3D NAND flash, which is something I will talk about here in a second. So they have to pass through thousands of pins between these two pieces of silicon so they can actually talk to each other properly. Now, when first looking into this, the first thing I was thinking of is what about thermals? And the article here does kind of address this, uh, that there is a division of labor between the two dies, and the bottom layer is bearing the, uh, the wiring for both dies, and the top layer has to dissipate the heat for both. Now, since the top layer doesn't need to have the little silicon balls for, you know, actually putting it onto a PCB, that does help dissipate heat a little bit. But still, I think that that's going to be the major issue with this piece of technology. As I mentioned before, we've had 3D stacked RAM for a long time. So this is NAND flash from Samsung. And you can clearly see that they just stack different layers on top of each other. This is the exact same thing that HBM is as well. Like, instead of being NAND flash, this is actual like system memory. And we know that this works in real life. However, if we're talking about things like GPUs, there's simply no way something like a 250 watt GTX 1080 Ti would be able to be sandwiched on top of each other. That's simply not possible, as it's just too much heat being produced in such a small area. Which leads me to believe that when this technology does come out, they will use much smaller die. We'd probably see something between the 100 to 200 millimeters squared stacked on top of each other. So in today's terms, that'd be something like a GTX 1050 Ti or something like a GTX 1060, as the heat and thermals from these two die won't be as much of an issue to dissipate as a 250 watt TDP die stacked on top of another 250 watt TDP die. Now I want to make it clear, I'm just using today's GPUs as an example. Clearly those are not going to be used on 7 nanometers plus, you know, 4 or 5 years in the future. But I wanted to go ahead and just kind of throw that out there that this is awesome technology. We've seen how this has been able to help out in the memory market in both, you know, the 3D NAND and we've seen it do well with HBM. That's why it's a premium product is because it is so efficient. That's why it's on the Titan V and, you know, the Volta cards from Nvidia and of course it's on the Vega cards for AMD. So, we know that it works in theory. I just think that Everybody thinking that we're just going to be sandwiching top tier performing graphics cards on top of each other here in the next couple of years isn't really understanding what's going to happen. Instead, they're going to be taking lower end chips, smaller die chips, and sandwiching them on top of each other. And this will also help offset the risk factor of the yields. If you're taking two 100 millimeter square dies and sandwiching those, you have a much greater chance of that succeeding compared to two 300 millimeter squared or 200 millimeter squared dies. So the larger the die size, each die size, 
the greater the chance of failure is. So more than likely, we will just see smaller dies tested out first, something like uh, what NVIDIA did with the uh, GTX 750 Ti. Uh, you know, they tested out Maxwell on a smaller die just to see how it would do. It did well, and then they went with that as their next lineup. So likely we won't see anything high-end out of this for a long time, and more than likely we will see smaller dies stacked two, three, four deep, which is something that I mentioned in this video where I believe that Navi would be scalable, not 3D like that, but more something like the current Epic die. See, whereas these are all spread out across you know, the surface, you could stack these in 3D in the future, and that takes up a lot less space and is technically going to be more efficient as you're not relying on things like Infinity Fabric for transfer rates. So this is really cool stuff to keep our eyes out on. And, you know, once benchmarks for any sort of test products that come out, this is something that I'd be really interested to see. And hopefully this will help lead to smaller packages and smaller graphics cards and smaller CPUs and just shrinking of technology seems to be where things are going. Kind of like what I said in the last video, everybody's going more for refinement. We're not really trying to reinvent the wheel anymore. I think everybody's okay with the wheel that we have for the most part. So this is going to significantly help all companies go ahead and do that as you can get a lot more with a lot less space, especially in mobile markets and anywhere where actual physical space is a key priority consoles for example is another good one um they're going to want to jump on this as soon as it's available but like i said i would temper expectations we're not going to see high-end gpus in the way that we currently know them if this is the way that they want to go in the future as it'll actually just be four basically 10 50 ti class gpus stacked on top of each other instead of one single massive die now, I think that this is going to be a huge saving grace for NVIDIA uh, because we already know that AMD has the Infinity Fabric and they can already kind of do something to this effect, like I showed you with Epic um, and linking a bunch of die together. And that was actually something that I believe that was really going to propel AMD past NVIDIA. And it may still happen that way. Uh, because that technology, the stacked silicon, is not going to happen for a long time. But uh, that's something that they're going to be needing to be able to compete here in the future because that is the way things are going, is smaller, more efficient die linked together somehow versus one giant monolithic die. I think that's the reason why Intel snatched up Jim Keller as well to help them out. We'll see how it goes, but I think everybody's seen how well Ryzen's performed, and I think everybody's realized that that's really the future moving forward. So we're going to have different avenues to get there, so this is really cool. Competing technology is always great, and when everybody's kind of on a level playing field, it really just comes down to whoever makes the best product wins. So the fact that TSMC is a neutral partner, they'll sell anything to anybody who wants to pay them. I think that that's the best case scenario. Now, if like Intel had this technology and was hoarding it, that's not good for anybody. And if AMD over at Glowflow has some sort of lock on this technology, that's not really good for anybody either. The fact that TSMC has it, I really think is the best case scenario. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think it's really cool? We might be seeing stacked dies just like we do with memory. Um, do you think that this really is the future, the way that things are going to be moving forward? I personally do. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. Please subscribe. Please share with friends. This is cool news. I think everybody would like to have a refresh from all the bad crap going on out there and just enjoy something that's new and cool and the future of technology for the most part. And if you guys are in the market for some gaming gear, please click the affiliate links down below. That'll help out Elric over at Tech of Tomorrow. And I really appreciate everybody who's done that and everybody who's been supporting him. You guys are awesome. And that's all I have for today. And I will catch you guys in the next video.